much. Want to get to some continuing coverage now. This midday, we are happy to say we now know all of the students that were involved in that Gilbert High School bus crash yesterday. They have been treated and have been released from the hospital and are okay. The crash happened around 4 p.m. yesterday on Pond Branch Road, again near Gilbert. That bus was carrying several dozen students from middle school, Gilbert Middle School and Gilbert High School. The accident was caught on camera. News 19 got this video late yesterday, but out of respect for these families of the students, we decided to hold on to the video until we were sure that all the children involved in this accident were okay. We're now going to show you the moment of impact when the bus collided with the truck, but I want to warn you, many people will find this video upsetting, but again, it underscores how much worse this crash could have been. We are thankful everybody is okay this afternoon. Well, again, you see people running towards the crash now as this video plays out. We know that 17 kids had to be taken to Lexington Medical Center, but again, all of them have been treated and released and thank goodness are okay. Here's a bit more from those witnesses on the scene. We just heard like a big old boom. Um, and obviously the first instinct was to just see what it was. So we turn around and Sure enough, there's, you know, a wreck right there at the intersection right in front of us. And uh, we saw it was a school bus. And first, you know, first thought was to just run over there and make sure everybody was okay. Uh, hoping nobody was actually in the bus full of kids. But sure, sure enough, you know, um, it was full of kids. So we ran over there and checked everything out, made sure everybody was all right. Um, everybody was still okay, you know, alive and whatnot. A couple of injury, uh, injuries, but other than that, um, you know, it was just... It, it, it was an experience. The Highway Patrol continues to investigate and they told us this morning that the results of the investigation would depend on whether or not there's charges going to be filed in this crash. We don't know yet this midday if charges will be filed. So we will, of course, continue to update you on this story at WLTX.com.